I don't think I knew where I was going until this moment in the gym where a chairman of, the, of a company that I've been working in told me that I couldn't swim four kilometers in ice water. For me, when I look back, that was, that was the trigger point of realizing that people will tell you what you can or cannot do without having the foundation of knowing what is possible. The people who didn't think I could become a football player, they hadn't been football players themselves. They hadn't gone through that journey. The people who told me that I, it was too risky to start my own business in my early 20s, they hadn't started businesses themselves. And I think that was just a realization saying, you know what? People have no idea what they're talking about. They have their perspective on what, you know, what is realistic, what is possible. And without thinking about it, they place that upon you. And then you have to sort of accept it as the truth or reality, which is not the case. It's just their perspective on, on life and what is possible. The thing is, it, it's an, it was a natural thing to say, and obviously he didn't think about it. And that's the whole point of it, that often we don't think about what we're actually telling other people. But that has an impact. You know, it's like the math teacher telling a kid who's 12 years old that you're not good at math. The kid's going to live his entire life believing that, right? And that, that's, that's the whole point, being aware of what you tell other people, especially kids, because they, they're going to accept that for the rest of their lives, even though it's not true. That's what pisses me off. And that's what made me say, you know what? I hate the freaking cold, but I gotta do this.